dear friends welcome to my channel in this video you will be witnessing the steps of the mako robotic total knee replacement surgery you can see we are operating on left side knee there is some model of the knee which is visible on the monitor that is a ct scan model of that particular patient which is uploaded one day before the surgery this mako system is a ct based system where the data of that particular patient which we are operating will have already uploaded on the monitor and we will be cross checking with the multiple points this is called <coughs> the registration process meaning we register the parts of the knee joint of that particular patient on the ct image of the same patient which is uploaded already you can see that after we do registration there is something called gap measurement meaning we will be checking the gap of the knee joint in bending position and straight position bending is a flexion position this is measured in about 90 degrees of bending and straight position is about 0 to 20 degrees of straight position of the knee we will be keeping something like a spoon or something like a osteotome um, we keep it and we spread the knee to assess how much is inner side opening and how much is outer side opening so the goal of this procedure i mean in goal of this total knee replacement surgery using the robotic assisted procedure is to make sure the balancing of the knee in the medial and lateral means inner and outer parts of the knee to be <clears throat> perfect and equal in both bending and straight position bent and straight position of the knee so in order to get this balance right we will be doing some particular changes in the bone resection that bone resection values and angles in in which we will be doing will be very clearly determined and shown on the monitor in front of us you can see that there is a green line where we are doing the resection this robotic arm as i told it is a semi automated means the surgeon himself will be doing this procedure along with the robotic arm in his hand robotic arm will be doing the resection on the area which is marked you can see that because of haptic control in the robotic arm the arm will not go outside the area which is marked on the monitor that is to confirm that is to say that it will not cut or it will not damage any other structures which is not marked on the monitor and <coughs> you can see that there are different different cuts are there in the bone here we are doing bone resection that is bone cuts so there will be a green uh, colored area which after resection will be removed and then white colored area is formed once that is white that means that whatever area to be removed is removed and you can see that there is some area which is coming coming like a red color on the monitor if it comes as a red color means up to 1 mm of the extra bone if it is removed that will be coming as a red color and uh, it takes different cuts like a distal femur anterior femur posterior femur anterior and posterior chamfer and proximal tibia resection these are all the resections required to perform total knee replacement in order to put the implants in the bone on the knee joint now we are doing tibial resection you can see that there is one only one assistant is there with me the assistant should stand away from the camera which is just above the monitor you can see that and there are some black colored structures on the robotic arm you can see to the left of the assistant these are arrays these are in line with the camera which is now seen near the monitor this camera near the monitor and the arrays should be in same line and there should not be any person or any object obstructing these things because these arrays will be giving the information 
and the cameras will be taking the information and giving the values now you can see that now we are uh, completing the process of the bone resection after we complete the bone resection the next step would be to do trial implantation if we are doing depending on the type of the knee if there is a box resection which is to be done which will will be done uh, with our instruments and then we will do the trial implantation in trial implantation we will be checking how much gap is there after we do the implants and how much knee is bending how much knee is extending and what is the balance of the ligaments so this objective confirmation of the balancing and alignment is the one thing which is directly available for a surgeon while doing surgery this is the advantage of robotic knee replacement surgery many people ask us what is the difference between conventional knee replacement and robotic total knee replacement surgery i hope in this video you have understood that the data of knee after implantation that is how much we are able to bend what is the gap of medial and lateral and what is the alignment these data are available on the monitor for us during surgery this is the main difference between conventional and robotic total knee replacement surgery if you have liked this video if you found this video useful to you please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like the video and share to your family and friends which which might be useful for them thank you for watching this video